people often go to one of two extremes. We, we, we all tend to do it, don't we? We have our own personal preferences and directions we like to go and, and things that we've seen work in the past and that therefore we think are the best way to go. Uh, I, I wanted to just uh, do this little video uh, to help people to understand a little bit about how we as a church kind of are shaped and, and what our highest authority uh, is as well. We've got a team coming over from America uh, next week and they're actually coming to help us uh, to reach out to people in Preston, to get to know more people uh, and to hopefully share, share the message about Jesus uh, with some people as well. Now, uh, we did this recently. Uh, we actually went out on, on the streets with another team of people in Preston and we just did some really kind of a uh, non-confrontational, kind of low impact interpersonally anyway, low impact uh, conversations with people in the street. We did little interviews with them just to find out what they what they know about Jesus and and what they uh, what they think about him, and, and also to open up the possibility of conversations about Jesus as well uh, further down the line. And we had a great time. Uh, I chatted with a lady who was uh, who uh, she said she was Romanian Orthodox, and uh, and it was fascinating to hear how uh, I mean, well they've just totally departed from what the Bible actually says about about Jesus and and, and what he's done. But we had a we had a really good conversation about things. Now. It's interesting because uh, what we did then last week, it wasn't like what we do every week at church. So for us as a church, uh, there's uh, there's two things that we're really focused on and that we kind of have in the bedrock of our of our DNA. Uh, one is like building community and people being built into friendships and knowing each other and sharing our lives with one another. We tend to eat a lot of food uh, and just people aren't just acquaintances on a Sunday, but they're actually genuinely friends. Uh, so that's one foundation. The other foundation is actually proclaiming Jesus, being clear about who Jesus is. We're, we're all about Jesus as a church and all about helping other people know who he is. Uh, now, what was interesting uh in reaction to us doing these little interviews on the street which was from a couple of different directions I had people saying to me well do you know what? I don't feel like this is the best way uh, to uh, to do things I you know I think it'd be better just to do the, the community thing uh, you know and that and that would mean doing what we, we normally do anyway which is yeah eating a lot of food and spending time together and that kind of thing uh, and that, that's a wonderful thing it's, it's a great thing uh, but these people were saying, do you know what, this kind of more kind of front-footed, more bold, uh, going out of your way to start conversations with people and, and find out what they know about Jesus and, and actually present the gospel to them. No, that's that's not really what we want. That's We don't see that as the best way of doing things. Uh, and obviously what that then leads you to do or what it should lead you to do is say, well, what does the Bible actually say? What What is the model that the Bible actually presents to us? Uh, I think it's so easy for us to just slip into what we're comfortable with uh, and maybe what we've seen work in the past or maybe what we haven't seen work in the past and therefore react to a certain thing but and then just zoom off to our own kind of particular end of the spectrum. I think I think there really is a spectrum in terms of how uh, people uh, how people tend to be comfortable. Uh, for some people, and many of us react against these people, and I think rightly in some cases. Uh, you know, for some people, there's, there's no community. There's no church genuinely knowing each other, and actually the church opening themselves up to relationship with other people. So we as ourselves, we're so happy to have lots of people who don't know Jesus around and, and, and as our friends and, and, and part of things, because you, you, know, you don't have to actually believe in Jesus to, to belong in friendship with us. Uh, but for some people, that's that's not the case at all. It's it's what the church is. This little this little club, and we close in really tight. And then every now and then, what we'll do, we'll go out and we'll go and shout at people on the street and tell them what scumbags they are. That's one end of the spectrum, and many of us have reacted against that. And we've gone, whoa, that that just looks different to me. Like when I, when I look in the Bible, I see Jesus eating with people, spending time with tax collectors and sinners. That's that's the outcasts in society. We, we we've reacted correctly against that. But then often what we've done is we've gone, right, okay, all we're going to do is just hang out and eat food. We, we, we're just going to do that. And that's that's all there'll be to it. And hopefully at some point somebody might mention Jesus and uh, he, he might come up in the conversation. And what we need to do is ask, like, what, what do we actually see the Bible saying? R rather than like, you know, what have we seen working or not working? What Looney Tunes have we seen in the street? Uh, you know, unhelpfully expressing the gospel uh, and and what do we feel safe with what we want to do actually is go what does the bible say what does the bible say 
So I, we as a church throughout our whole life, we've been so clear that uh, we want to build a community of people uh, where you, you don't have to meet particular entry requirements to, to belong in friendship amongst us. You know, like people don't have to be Christians. They don't have to have the same ethical stance as us to be in friendship and to be around. And we're delighted to, uh, to spend time with lo loads of different people. So that's always been so important for us, genuine, welcoming community. But also what we see in the Bible, uh, in Acts 17, for example, is we, we do see people uh, going out of their way to engage in conversation with people. So this is Paul. He's in Athens. He's waiting for uh, uh, Silas and Timothy to come to him. And uh, in verse 16, it says, Now, while Paul was waiting for them at Athens, his spirit was provoked within him as he saw that the city was full of of idols so Paul's looking around and he sees that actually there's a lot of idolatry going on in that city the true God is not being worshipped the God who made the heavens and the earth and everything in them no he's rejected and instead other things have come in place of him people are laying down their lives for other things and obviously within Preston itself we don't tend to have Greek gods which are being worshipped uh, but instead we know there are many other false gods whether it be materialism various different false religions uh, the worship of self uh, the exaltation of, of our purposes above the purposes of God the many idols that uh, that are being worshipped and it's interesting because Paul reacts to that worship of idols it says that his spirit was provoked he, he was concerned about it he he didn't want uh, other things receiving worship and glory which was really only due to the true and living God the God that he loved he knew uh, and who calls all people everywhere to repent so what does Paul do so he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and the devout persons and in the marketplace every day with those who happened to be there he, he reasoned with people that, with the religious people the Jews and the devout persons and in the marketplace every day with those who happen to be there they just, they just happen to be there Paul's like let's talk about this and, and we know going on that uh, you know they say uh, some of them reacted what does this babbler wish to say others said he seems to be a preacher of foreign divinities because he was preaching Jesus and the resurrection Paul was being quite clear about who Jesus was he was going out of his way uh, to talk about uh, talk about Jesus you see, you see that what we want to do is we want to allow the Bible to set our expectation of yeah what church life looks like and also what evangelism looks like and when we look in the Bible what we do see uh, is Jesus and, and also the early church spending time with people we see community being built we see outsiders being included in that community and we also see the proclamation the preaching of Jesus happening as well Jesus is disciples that the when Jesus appointed apostles he appointed them so that they could be with him that's community and so that they could send he could send them out to preach that that's preaching you see both of these things are fundamental to the the biblical picture of how the church is in the world so, so uh, it, it's really easy for us I think to out of fear for, for what other people think of us to just go ah oh, do you know what really I just I just think uh, I'm I'm just going to be friendly to people and yeah maybe one day if they they might possibly they might they might maybe if I'm really nice to them and maybe if we're really good friends they might ask a little bit about Jesus and do you know what they might do they absolutely might do and it's what it's wonderful if they do that's great uh, but it's so easy to just hide behind uh, that kind of uh, comfortable way of doing things because because we're scared we're scared but actually what we need to do is recognize the situation that we're in that we're, we are in a city which is full of idols which is worshiping things other than Jesus Christ uh, that doesn't believe in the resurrection that doesn't care about who Jesus is and and the the most loving thing that we can do is to include people in community to, to be friends with them wherever they're up to and to let people know who Jesus is and to be front-footed in our proclamation of him not just to run away and just to go to one end of the spectrum and go, this is where I feel comfortable. And not to, uh, in terms of community, and, and equally not to just go out there and start condemning people, going and treating them as if they're the scumbags and we're the ones who've got it all sorted. No, both of those things are wrong. What we want to do is let the biblical uh, perspective and model shape what we do. So I wanted to let you guys know about that. Uh, we're going to be doing this next week. So hey, some of you might be listening and going, do you know what? 
I, I actually need to get involved in this. I, I'd love to go and chat with people a little bit about Jesus. Uh, you know, you, you recognize uh, that people don't know about Jesus. Uh, and this is a great opportunity, so just get in touch. Let me know if you want to come along and help out. On the other hand, we've got loads of social things going on as well. Uh, we love to build community. Have, have I mentioned that? Uh, so uh, feel free to get involved in that as well. And you can find out more on our Facebook page as well and also on our website, www.christcentralpreston.co.uk.